Before we get to the more difficult concept of forward rates, let's discuss spot rates and discount factors. A discount factor is the price of a risk-free single unit payment, for example, $1 maturing in n years. So if I wanted to have a guaranteed payment of $1 in three years, what price would I have to pay today based on market interest rates to make that exchange happen? The spot rate is the yield to maturity of the single unit payment. And we can put these together into a single formula. So the discount factor is equal to one, so that would be the $1 payment that we talked about here, divided by one plus the spot rate to the power of however many years this contract is. Now let's take a look at an example. Let's work the first example of the chapter to really nail home these ideas. So it says, consider a two year loan beginning in one year. The one year spot rate is 7%. The three year spot rate is 9%. First, calculate the one year discount factor. So all we need for this is our handy formula we have up here. So we're gonna say DF1 is equal to the $1 that will be exchanged one year from today over one plus the one year spot rate of 7% to the power of one. So this gives us 93.46 cents. So what this says is that if I wanted to be guaranteed to receive $1 uh, in the future, one year from today, I would have to pay 93.46 cents to enter into that contract. Now let's solve the second one. Calculate the three year discount factor. So this time we're gonna say DF3 is equal to $1 over one plus the three year spot rate, which is 9%. But this time it's compounded three times because this dollar will be exchanged three years in the future. But because it's so far in the future, you would have to pay less money today to engage in this contract. And we find the value that we would have to pay today to be able to guarantee that we receive $1 three years in the future to be 77.22 cents. Let's dive into the very simple topic of forward rates and how you can calculate forward rates using spot rates. The forward rate is defined as the annualized interest rate today for a loan that will be initiated in a future period. In the CFA Institute textbooks, it's denoted as F A comma B minus A. A represents the time the discount factor price is paid, and B represents the time the $1 notional price is paid. So we can illustrate this with an example here on the bottom of our screen. This is just a timeline where T equals zero represents today, uh, one is a year from day today, two is two years from today, etc. So what if I wanted to enter into a contract today where I would pay a price one year from today to lock into a loan that would be paid back to me two years after that, so at uh, time, equal, time equals three. How would we represent this? We could show this as F1, comma, three minus one. An important concept to refresh on is the forward rate model, and we can see this represented in the formula below. This shows us that we can use the spot price at time B and the spot price at time A to derive the forward rate between times A and time B. Let's work a blue box example in the book to really nail home this idea. Example two tells us that the spot rates for three hypothetical zero coupon bonds with maturities of one, two, and three years are given in the following table. So this basically just tells us the spot rates for years one, two, and three. So if we look at our timeline, this is telling us that if we wanted to uh, lend money for say one year, we could do so at a rate of 9%. So we'll say S1 equals 9%. But then if we wanted to lend money for two years, so compounded twice, that would be S2, which is 10%. But then if we actually wanted to lend money for three years starting today, we could actually lend at a rate of 11%. Now, in the first problem, it's asking us, calculate the forward rate for a one-year zero issued one year from today. So what this is actually asking us is say if today we wanted to lock into a contract that says in one year we wanted to pay a certain amount of money so that we could receive a dollar 
two years from today, that is actually F1, comma 1. So we can find that using this formula we showed earlier. So this would just be 1 plus SB, which is the spot rate, the two-year spot rate of 10%, to the power of 2, because that's two years out into the future, is equal to 1 plus SA, which is the one-year spot rate of 9%, to the power of A, which is actually just 1, it's the one-year spot rate, and we can use this to find that forward rate, which is 1 plus F1, comma 1. And then the exponent is actually B minus A, which is 2 minus 1, which is just 1. One thing to keep in mind is that the total sum of the exponents on the left side of this formula should always be equal to the total sum of the exponents on the right side. Okay, so 2 is equal to 1 plus 1. So we know this, we've got it correct. So then we can solve for this by doing 1.1 squared divided by 1.09 minus 1 here is equal to the forward rate we're trying to solve for. And we'll find when we put all that into our financial calculator that the forward rate is equal to 11.01%. Problem 3 states, calculate the forward rate for a two-year zero issued one year from today. So same as the last example, we're starting at one year, but this time it's a two-year zero, which extends all the way to period three. And we can call this F1, comma, two. So in this example, A is equal to one, the one year spot rate, and B is equal to three. So we use the three year spot rate. We can solve it with the same formula as the previous example. So one plus the three year spot rate of 11% to the power of three is equal to one plus the one year spot rate of 9% to the power of one multiplied by 1 plus the forward rate, 1 comma 2, to the power of b minus a, which is 3 minus 1. So that will be 2. And just like I said before, we want the left side, the sum of the exponents on the left side, to equal to the sum of the exponents on the right side. And we have that here. So now we'll just solve for this. So 1.11 to the power of 3 divided by 1.09 is equal to 1 plus f1 comma 2 squared. But now we can just take the square root of both sides to get to f1 plus 1. So then we'll take this value, so we'll take the square root of 1.113 over 1.09 minus 1 this gives us this forward rate here, which we'll find to be a value of 12.01% if you plug that into your financial calculators.